Today we're going to talk about greens because they're one of the most important things that we can do for protection against chronic disease. And before I started eating plant-based, I don't think I rare, very rarely ate greens like Swiss chard, collard greens, kale, spinach. Maybe spinach every once in a while, but not very often. We should be getting from two to five servings a day or six servings a day. So a lot of greens because you get a lot of protein from greens. It's like kale is 35% protein, spinach is 51% protein. So we all think it's a myth that you need protein from meat to be healthy. But actually, when you eat protein from plants, you get more than enough protein. Plus, you get fiber and vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and phytonutrients. And you don't get any of that in meat. All you get from meat, you get protein. But then you get all the chronic disease-causing other things that go with the meat. So plants are the best way to get the protein. Because... Um, they strengthen our immune system. They create healthy cells, which help fight off and reverse a disease. So we definitely want that. So a serving size is a cup of raw or a half a cup of cooked. So that, that's not a lot. We can do that. And remember, we talked about cleaning um, our greens or our vegetables and stuff to get the chemicals off of them, the pesticides. And remember, you do it with um, one part salt and nine parts of water. That's better than vegetable cleaner, cleaning solution you buy in the store, doesn't work. Research found, water alone doesn't work, so you have to add that salt. But then you want to rinse the salt off at the end. So I didn't know how you clean vegetables or uh, leafy greens because, like I said, I didn't hardly ever eat them. So um, you need to wash them first to make sure you get the pesticides off. Even if you buy organic, and I buy organic leafy greens, you need to get uh, that off. So nine parts water, one part salt. I put it in a big bowl. A big, I have a big metal serving bowl I put in the sink, and I just soak them in that. And as long as the water's dirty, you just need to rinse them off, do it again until the water's clean. So I didn't know, like this is kale. You're supposed to remove the stem. I don't know if anybody ever told me that. I <laughs> probably cooked it with them. I don't know. So I was watching TV the other night, and I saw a commercial for Whole Foods, and they had a great trick. I, I told you guys earlier video about a sharp knife. Well, uh, watch how you can destem it. You just take the stem down the middle, so have the stem here, and you just run the knife along the stem. Uh, it's pretty awesome and it goes all the way down I would just have to put the video camera down so you could see it there we go and you destem it like that so just down the stem just kind of rock the knife back and forth you can also take scissors and cut it up the stem and I've also just torn it off the stem but then it kind of goes down the little vein so the knife trick is awesome just kind of rock it back and forth and you can devein it you throw this in the trash or you put it in your compost would be a good thing to do and then you roll up the leaf so you roll it up and then you cut it or take a knife and chop it and it makes ribbons and then you could cut the ribbons in half if you want to get it the size you want when you put it in your food and if you're going to eat it uh, raw you may want to massage it I know that sounds kind of dumb, but it makes it silky and it makes it softer. If you're going to eat it raw, it makes it easier to digest and it tastes better because it's not so chewy. So you can do that with all your leafy greens. So we all need to start anything we eat, put it on a bed of leafy greens. Like I've been making a baked potato for lunch. I put frozen, um, you can put canned beans on it. I put frozen broccoli on it and then I uh, just take a few leaves off of the kale, Swiss chard, collard greens, anything I have, and I, I just put it in the microwave and cook it, and uh, I have my beans, my vegetable with the potato, I have my greens, 
and my Fisher's vegetable, the broccoli, all in one easy meal that didn't take me long at all. So eat your greens this week. Let's do it.